Hi, I'm Tassa Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a low allergen body spray that's non-aerosol. Now let me show you how to put it together. Alrighty, so to make my low allergen body spray, I am gonna be using um, some materials here to obviously lessen the potential of it being an allergen. Now I am using a low allergen fragrance as well, which is also gonna help. If you don't know, fragrances generally are classified as an irritant or an allergen material, as well as a lot of preservatives as well, and a few other different materials like actives and all that sort of stuff as well. So if you do wanna learn more about allergens and irritants, please enroll into either our diploma of personal care uh, formulation as we do teach about safety and ingredients and does uh, cover irritants and allergens as well. So to start off with, I've got my water phase here. To this, I'm gonna be adding a smaller input of ethanol than my last body spray video, um, because ethanol can be obviously drying to the skin, so I don't wanna add as much as last time, because we do wanna keep this low allergen, so less potential of irritant. Now, but we do need ethanol to ensure that it dries, um, because we don't wanna have that wet spray on us for too long, whereas the ethanol is gonna help it dry a lot quicker. Now to this I'm gonna be adding a glycerin base extract. I've chosen some pineapple extract here um, just for marketing and story. Glycerin's also gonna help with trans epidermal water loss and creating suppleness to the skin as well. And we're just gonna give that one a stir until it's homogenous. Now you could potentially add some actives in here, something to, you know, anti-inflammatory, soothing or anti-irritant actives in here, but obviously you will need to do a sample and conduct some stability tests as well to ensure it remains stable in there uh, but it, that could be a good idea as well now over to my next phase here i have my solubilizer so this is the tween 20 by crota this is going to solubilize our oilier materials like our fragrance so i'm going in here with um, the fragrance so this is called fresh uh, 4591a and this is by iff and this is a low allergen fragrance. Now this has like a fruity sort of floral smell. So it's got hints of apple, rose and muguet. Um, so this is gonna give that, that nice fresh kind of, you know, open up those nostrils type of spray. <laughs> um, it's, I feel like it's quite summery as well. And I'm also gonna be just adding my um, preservative in here as well. So that's just the Yuxel PE 9010. And we're just gonna make sure that's nice and homogenous. So give it a really good stir to ensure that our oily materials are solubilized properly because we don't want an oily layer sitting on top of our water face. Okay, and then we're just gonna add that into our water phase. You can definitely smell the hint of apple that's in here too, as it smells really beautiful. And then just give that a good stir until it's nice and homogenous. So we're just gonna check and adjust our pH. And then as always, cover and leave until the next day. We're gonna check for any signs of instability. We're gonna ensure that our fragrance stays solubilized. If it doesn't, you'll see a, an oily layer on top. So we just wanna make sure it remains nice and stable. Okay, and here is what our low allergen body spray is looking like the next day. It's nice and stable, there's no oily layer sitting on top. It's actually pretty clear as well. It's drying very, very quickly as well. That's already dry. So again, we don't want that wet feeling left on our skin or even our clothes. And there's no stickiness and there's no tack as well. So remember with solubilizers, you do need to be careful of input as well and leave on products because they can feel sticky or tacky. So you do need to be careful of that. Um, if it's too sticky or tacky, you may need to reduce the input. And I'm definitely smelling that beautiful apple and also the rose smell in that as well. It smells absolutely divine. Well, there you go. That's how super simple and easy it is to put together a low allergen body spray that's non-aerosol. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.